Hello. I was like, I'm all ready to go, and then I realized my mic is like across my desk. Oh, there we go. New habits that I need to develop. Hey, Allie. Hey, Dave. How are you both doing today? So many cables. I need to get some wireless stuff. Allie, I think you have the right idea. There's like, I'm tangled in cables. Okay. All right. Okay. I kind of want to dive into this really quick. Hey, Mike. How are you guys doing? Can you guys hear me okay? Looks like it's picking up fine. Got my trusty post-it note with my controls. Alright. Cool. So, I was, like, debating streaming today, and finally I just, like, got around to setting it up and doing it, um, uh, because there's, like, I'm kind of, I'm a little stuck in parts of the game where I've been exploring some of the places where I have been, uh, and, like, haven't found everything yet, where there's still, like, a couple of notes, but the one question that I have uh, that I want to explore now is I started to figure out stuff about Giant's Deep Core. So I really want to go back there and try again. Because I feel like there's something pretty straightforward that I just missed. So I want to go back and see what's going on. Uh, wires have been your literal downfall. And your dog's downfall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my cable management is not good. Um, which is kind of weird, because, like, considering the amount of time that I've, like, pulled my desk out and, like, arranged things and made it all nice, you'd think that I would put that extra care in, but... Nope. Did I bump up my graphics settings? You know what? I didn't. Um, but that would be smart. Look at all these mediums. Uh, I wonder if we can just, like, go up to high. So exciting. New graphics card. Uh, I wish that there was just a... Uh, I don't... Texture quality full? Full? I guess we'll go with full. Also, hey, Orc. How are you doing today? Uh, is there an apply or is it just... Uh, going on computer is it loading what's happening Did the game crash am i impatient maybe i'm maybe i'm too impatient <laughs> oh, oh oh okay all right cool ah uh, there we go <laughs> it just it really had to think about it um I thought it was just going to go back to the other menu, but... Alright, Giant's Deep, here we come. I'm just, like, also going to be looking around to see, like, how the game performs. I'm very- I'm just so excited. I've had such a crappy graphics card for so long. Giant's Deep, here we come. not hit that. Whole new world of graphic settings. Yeah, no kidding though. Like, actually, I have been playing on, like, low graphics for so long. 
All right, so I'm gonna go straight into this. What? But you were counterclockwise. Take me down. Yes. Haha. <laughs> All right. So we got here last stream. I was very excited about it. I know that the jellyfish core protect from electricity. However, it seems that I can't touch them. Yeah, I can't touch them. A dazzling place of clear streams. I'm sorry, I'll try not to ever sing on camera. It's, it is not my skill. Hey, morbid mongoose. Uh, you feel you feel like a parent that's uh, hoping this kid doesn't mess up their lines in the school play and embarrass you. <laughs> Speaking of the graphics card, <laughs> so far it's been great. Um, I like it didn't even have me like install drivers and stuff. It just like took a minute and thought about it, and then everything looked awesome. But then I just uh, installed them anyways. Alright. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear me sing. I'm not a good singer. Maybe eventually I'll get some, like, kind of, like, echoey voice uh, mod. And then it's one of those that, like, everything sounds good, you know? You could hold up a cat and it would sound like the cat's singing. Alright. How... How do we make this jellyfish friendly? Sir, please let me in. Nope. Alright. Whoa. No, no, not my ship! No, come back! Come on, just let me repair it. Doodle Goop is raiding? Oh, thank you so much for the raid. Hold on just a moment. Let me get this goddamn... All right. What were you playing? Uh, Allie, would you mind giving a shout out for me in the chat? Uh, I'm s this doing repairs in the water with this current is such a pain. They're playing. It takes two. How was it? You know, I've been looking at that game a lot. I've been thinking about picking up. How is it? It looks like the game to play for like a co-op. Come on, come on. It's great. It's always changing itself up. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Have you played this game before? Because I'm, I'm trying to figure this game out and it is a riot. It is crazy. You love Outer Wilds? That's awesome. Yeah, I, I am loving this game. Um, but it is definitely... Uh, it, it's it's making me work, that's for sure. One of your favorites of all time. A lot of people have said that, and I can totally see why. Now that I've played it for about 20 hours-ish, I can see why so many people absolutely love it. Um, I've never seen a game that does... Ah, oh, shit. I thought I was far enough away. I've never seen a game that does what this game does as well as, as it. Like, my closest comparison when people ask me what this game is like is like maybe antechamber um where you really have to like think outside the box but even antechamber is much more puzzly and this is much more or exploration i didn't feel like i fully repaired it did i 
Yes, I did. It only gets better with time, too. The more you learn, the more you appreciate the details. Yeah, I've, I've definitely started picking some of... Some of those little things up. Return of Obra Din feels similar? I haven't played that one. I don't know it. Alright. Jellyfish. Maybe I should get out of my ship. I'm probably gonna die here, but we're gonna try it. Goodbye, ship. Where'd our jelly friend go? Maybe I should wait for uh, another one to come up. I'm wondering, maybe it's just the uh, the straight bits that I can't touch. And down here is fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. Take me away, friend. Let's do it. We're going. Hey, Pyro. How are you? Alright. Now, now what? Gonna go AFK for a bit, make some dinner, but you'll lurk? Well, thank you so much for the lurk, and thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Where the fuck are we? Oh my god. Oh my god. This seems to be a common theme in my streams whenever I'm playing this game, is like, I work for like an hour or two trying to sort something out um, for a stream, and then the next stream, like my very first attempt, I just like, figured out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to die. Oh, thank you, Floor. Um, uh... It's based around knowledge and exploration, and it would be great to be able to forget and replay. You know what? I think you've mentioned it before. You've definitely mentioned it to me before, and I have it written down. It's like I threw it on my wish list. I, I need to check it out. Um, it's figuring out what the fuck is happening genre. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Uh, you're doing well. Glad to hear it. I am doing doing pretty good. I got a new graphics card for my computer, and so we're tr trying everything out on high settings and seeing how it goes, and so far it's going pretty well. Oh, it's this room again. I haven't quite worked out what these are for yet, just that they're showing other moments in time. And I don't really know what to make of that yet. And then these things. Still don't really know much about these yet either. Um, what card and what mic? It is a 1660 Ti, uh, and the um, the mic is a Blue Yeti Nano mic. Hey, Akin, how are you? Welcome in. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power it breaks, will you? Fret not, my, ner uh, my nervous friend. We will. Uh, we only need to fire the probe once anyways, so who minds if it com compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? 
I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is damaged. Well, sounds like they broke it. Yeah, this is my first time playing Outer Wilds. Totally blind playthrough. You have the same card? Nice. It seems great so far. Before I was using a, um, a GTX 670, I think it was. Something like that. Or 560. I don't know. It was bad. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I, uh, I've i been really enjoying this game for sure. It's definitely... Um, let me, there we go. Uh, it's making me think, that's for sure. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twins project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Uh, are you and the Orbital Probe Cannon well? We are. The probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and, we, and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. On, uh, uh, on other appendage, I am now worried about this cannon's structural integrity uh, and its crew's mortal, uh, moral integrity. I always get a little tripped up when they have these, like, different slang sayings, you know? Like, this uh, on the other appendage. <laughs> Um, uh, 660 Super it was surprisingly inexpensive. Um, you just ordered a camera upgrade to gotta get yourself a birthday present, you know? Yeah, yeah, you gotta treat yourself. That was the graphics card for me. Um, I'm, like, I'm very tempted to, like, upgrade my camera next and try to, like, you know, get all of the things, but I also need to... You know, take it one step at a time, you know. Upgrading my, my stream over a period of time, I think, will be more rewarding, but also easier on my bank account. Oh my god. Whenever you get a new hobby, it's, like, really easy to just, like, go all in. Um... Uh. I love these models. I think these models are so cool. Oh, interesting. So the probe definitely- we know the probe goes in a different direction each time. Because we followed it that one time. Oh, I need to stop doing that. I need to remember not to do that. Come back. I want to read that. Come on. I want to see these. Thank you. Uh, receiving data from probe. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Brusket, uh, Brusket Puncher? Let me know if I'm saying that wrong. I'm really bad at Twitch names. I'm sorry. Uh, but welcome in. Thanks so much for stopping by. Yeah, this is my first time playing Outer Wilds. Um, totally blind. Uh, and I am loving it. Absolutely loving the game. Whoa, what? What does this mean? Receiving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9,300,000. Wow. Okay. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe, 9 million. Wow. Okay. Let's check out this last one. Biscuit. Yeah, Biscuit Puncher. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Biscuit, uh, this was... The game that taught you the word thal thalassophobia? Is that fear of the deep ocean? Yeah. Yeah, I can I can see why. What what's that? Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. 
displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. I didn't mean to fall there. Coordinates for the eye of the universe? Can we go there? I, yeah. Ah, I want to get back to my ship so that I can kind of, like, decipher some of this. I also want to know if there's anything else in this core of the planet. Let's move for a second. Oh, yeah, this area is so freaky. So this was on the surface of Giant's Deep, and then at some point it just sank, I suppose. This area is freaky. Oh, I was trying to go deeper there, but it wasn't quite working. There we go. I just want to be, like, extra sure I'm not going to miss anything if I leave. Although I don't know if I can get out of here without dying. Hey, Cronark. Yeah, I did. I just got to the core. It seems to be a common trend of my streams that I struggle for an hour trying to figure something out, and then I just come back to it the next day and I get it on the first try. <laughs> I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Um... Yeah, yeah, sometimes you just need to take a break and stew on it for a minute. Man, I'm really curious about these coordinates. Like, is that where we're gonna go? I don't see why not. Were there any other... I just want to make sure there was, like, absolutely nothing that I missed. I don't think so. Getting into these is so hard. There we go. Alright. Yeah, this area definitely freaks me out. Definitely. No question. Uh, not as bad as the uh, uh, Dark Bramble, though. That was definitely the worst. I need a jellyfish, please. Hey, Mr. Jelly. I have a feeling I'm just gonna get electrocuted and die. Uh, 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 too close. That's alright. Oh, but I made it out. That's something. Ship? Ship! I'm coming, ship! Those coordinates, so the usual question, uh, what's some new learning stuff? Uh, let's find out. Very curious what my ship has to say about this, or like if I can pin those coordinates or something. Dark Bramble is where your dreams go to die. Same. 
I, yeah, when people ask me to describe this game, I tell them that it gave me a new phobia of anglerfish. Worse that you have to be out of the ship? Definitely, yeah. Maybe that's why they put that peaceful music there. They're like, this is gonna be scary, but you don't have to be scared. It's gonna be okay. All right, I wanna find somewhere to land for a moment. And I guess we can go talk to this guy, see if he has any thoughts or feelings about this. Probe tracking module. Oh, so that was the probe tracking module. I didn't quite realize that. So we still have to find the launch module. Okay, but what do I do with those coordinates, game? I am very surprised that the solution didn't have anything to do with that, um, that frozen jellyfish in the island over there. Your subnautica induced, how do you even say that? Uh, thalassophobia? Thalassophobia? Yeah. I, um, that was something that, I'm gonna pause for a second. That was something I loved about subnautica was that the game, I feel like it definitely had its tense moments, but it was only as scary as the audience perceived it to be, like, by, by you know, utilizing, um, uh, utilizing, you know, built-in fear that people already have. I just think that's, like, really clever game design. Doesn't the frozen jelly tell you the solution you found? Sort of. Sort of. So that frozen jelly let me know that Felspar had gotten to the core. Um, but it doesn't, like, outright tell you. So then I, like, went back and talked to him and we looked at the other dead jellyfish again. Um, it, like, it gives you all the pieces but doesn't tell you exactly what to do with them. So, like, when I tried to go straight at the jellyfish, it kept getting shocked and I had to go, like, under it. Um, like, I was close enough on the pronunciation. All right, I'll take that. That's fine. I'm, I'm dyslexic, so I just, like, forever know that I can't pronounce anything on the first try. Um, last time you were here, we were on the quantum moon trying to figure out the sixth location. Have, it, have, have I figured that out? Not yet. We're getting closer, but not yet. Can relate. <laughs> Hey, Gabbro. I found something. Uh, I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you figure out why? Um, Over-enthusiasm. Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Felspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each loop. Hey, Loof. Welcome in. Um... I already said this already, but let's see if uh, overenthusiasm says anything. Nope, it says the same thing. Oh, Orc, hello. Orc, aren't you gonna start streaming any moment now? Also, Orc, I thought it was pretty funny. I went to uh, Mike's to pick, when I picked up my graphics card, I, um, uh, 
he asked what else I was doing for the day, and I was like, oh, I'm really excited for Orc stream, and I actually said Orc out loud to a co-worker that we both work with. <laughs> it's just so built in now. I just spend more time on Twitch than anywhere else. Oh, wow, that was the whole loop already? God damn. Oh, I didn't realize the island went up into space. Where am I? I'm so lost! Let me up! Let me up! Where's the sun at? I want to watch it. Where the- where is it? There it is. It's like, where the fuck is the sun? Yeah, it's so quick! The loop is so fast. You're just finishing up dinner, so you're gonna start in like 15 minutes. Cool. <clears throat> you have a buddy that you only know as Miles now. Try quick to land on the sun station. The one that's been eaten. Been eaten by the sun. Imagine walking around one day and you just hear this music. I would panic. I would absolutely panic. But also, like, if I ran a retail store, I would just, like, put this into the music loop just to see who had played the game, like, in the store, see if anyone starts to freak out. <laughs> music sound more distorted than normal. It sounded fine to me. Definitely let me know if something else sounds weird. Yeah, the supernova is really cool. Well, that was a very efficient loop. Hmm. I'm just kind of watching to see if, like, anything happens here. So it looks like... I'm trying to see if, like, a piece of the, the thing, like, falls. Doesn't look like we can really tell. Have I ever noticed the different waking sounds? I have, yeah. Like, especially if I, uh, had suffocated the night, or, or the, on the last loop or something, or, like, died in some way. He wakes up and he's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Did I know this game actually started as a school project? I didn't. I did not know that. Um. That one's the worst. It is the worst wake-up sound. Absolutely. All right. I kind of want to go back to the quantum moon and try to figure it out again, but I, what I tried last time didn't really work. Did they purposely name it Outer Wilds to confuse people interested in outer worlds? I think that was a, um, unlucky, um, uh, unlucky chance. The interloper, the... Hold on. Where is it? This guy? I've been to it. Maybe we should go Maybe we should try to track it down. I've been to it once, but I couldn't really do anything once I was there. So I would say I haven't investigated it. I've landed on it, but I, I couldn't really do much. Let's see. Let's go there, though. I think that's a good plan. You enjoyed Outer Worlds, too? I have not, um, even checked out Outer Worlds. But 
they both released around the same time, right? So I, I think what probably happened is that they had already committed to the name and the development um, time. Uh, I hope we don't crash into it. Autopilot, don't fail me. Oh, we went past it. Outer Wilds released first. Yeah, so I think what, my guess is what happened is that they had both committed to the names without knowing that each other was in development and releasing at the same time. Yeah, so like I've been here and I've looked at it, but I haven't done anything yet. That's cool, though. Ooh. Looks like there's something down there. Ship. Don't go anywhere. Oh, I'm not wearing my suit! Oh no, I forgot to put my suit on! Fuck! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Rip. Alright. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, we'll try that again. We're trying it again. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, that... <laughs> that suffocation one. What a way to go. You just open the door and just step out so confidently and just melt in the vacuum of space. Alright. See, that's why I always try to put my suit on first. All right, interloper, I'm coming. Did it not? Okay. Oh, it's just covered. and tens. Oops. I have to like check my phone if I want to scroll back. Um, Outer Wilds has actually been a thing since the early 2010s if you remember correctly. You remember watching Nerd Cubed uh, play the alpha. So maybe Outer Worlds dev named, uh, named it that to confuse it with this game. That's possible. I my hope I guess is that um oh thanks for the clip Allie. um my hope is that any game dev who respects the project that they're working on is not going to um try to piggyback off of another game like that because it's it's not gonna ever be in their favor, I don't think. It might get them a couple of extra sales. Ugh, slow down, slow down. All right. It doesn't matter, it's fine. I'm wearing my suit. I mean, I guess I can repair while I'm right here. Ship, I'm sorry I treated you like this. I am a bad ship owner. Okay. I just... Alright, alright, fine. Whatever. <laughs> I want to check this out. This is troublesome, it seems. The comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Uh, even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home with the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would... 
be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Oh yeah, there's a little shuttle here, totally encased. Never noticed the wooden thrust, uh, nozzle. You think both devs think it's funny? Also, hello, Nick. Welcome in. Yeah, I would hope so. I'd, I'd hope that they both are like, eh, whatever, it's funny at this point. I, I, that's why I assume it's more of a, uh, unfortunate like, mistake that the games are named so similarly than, like, anything malicious. Ooh! Ooh, it's slippery! I'm ice skating! Oh, that's so funny. I'm surprised that this comet is big enough to have any gravity at all. I am a pro ship lander. That is a hundred percent. Whoa. Oh, we're getting close to the sun. Is that gonna, like, melt the... I guess we've already passed it. I was wondering if it was gonna melt any of this. Perfect. My way of landing the ship is just smashing into stuff. Hey, there's more to explore here. Okay. All right. Don't burn. Don't burn up, ship. My hunch is that when it gets close enough to the sun, uh, after enough time has elapsed, stuff will melt, and then I can... <laughs> this, the ice skating is so funny. Am I stuck on? I do I didn't look at the uh the view elsewhere. I actually, you know what? It might be a bad idea to put my ship on the other side. I'm realizing. I don't know. I guess if this doesn't work then I can uh uh just uh uh reset the loop, I guess. Cuz I'm worried my ship is going to like fly away on the other side, but it also flew away on this side, so who knows. The new GPU feels great. Um it works. So, <laughs> uh, I've got all my settings up on high now, which I haven't done in years. I, I need to find some, like, you know what? I need to download Skyrim again, and I need to install all of the mods, like, all 50 of the best mods, um, and just see how it performs. All right, we're halfway. We're gonna give it a minute. We're gonna give it a minute to make one more go around. 
Because I bet that the ice is going to melt. Let's suspect this. Uh, my new card is a 660, six, or 1660 Ti. So it's it's a big step up from my old card, I'll tell you that. I mean, it's a good middle of the road card. I'm not a big computer person, so like I know basics, but um, I just had our pal Mike here help me. We're going. We're going. 50, that's casual modding. Listen, I just have to go off of what my, my old graphics card could handle, which was like three. It's wild that the 1660 is middle of the road now. I know. It's For me, it's just wild how crazy expensive graphics cards still are. Yeah, it's it's running really really well. I one of the things I wanted to try and I I forgot to try it on this uh this run, but um I want to record and stream at the same time so I don't have to download my vods from Twitch when I upload them to YouTube, which by the way, I have a new YouTube channel. Uh if you prefer to if you like watching vods and you prefer to watch them on YouTube, that is now an option. <laughs> so, I've got a link in the uh about me page if you feel like checking that out i probably won't upload like everything i do on twitch there but all the best stuff so i've got outer wilds up there and i've got um tell me why and a couple other just like random blind streams so blame the crypto miners yeah Still running two GTX 660s. Yeah, so that's basically what I had, except I only had one of them. <laughs> two of them, I'm sure, would be uh, equatable to what I've currently got. The price has been inflating like crazy uh, over the years. Remember being hesitant to buy a GPU in high school for like 250 Yeah, seriously. Uh, do I want someone to do some editing for my YouTube? Um, I... Maybe someday. Right now, I'm I just am very I'm just using like a free video editing program where I just like cut the beginning five minutes that I have of just empty like starting stream starting soon uh, video and then the end where I'm like rating, but I don't do any other editing other than that, and then I just throw it up there. If uh if eventually I start getting some like subscribers and stuff on um, YouTube, that might be something I do, like pay someone to do the editing for me but right now uh i'm uploading those videos for no one <laughs> but i'll definitely keep it in mind pyro if i um if i decide to start putting a little bit more effort in there you bought a gpu uh for like 300 nowadays it goes for 800 yeah that's what was crazy, right? I got my old graphics card for for not very much, right? And I'm and that was like five or six years ago, and now I can resell it for like as much or more than I bought it for. I just used it to trade in. So the the person that I bought my current card from builds PCs as a hobby, so I was able to factor in my old card into the price of my replacement card to just like chip the price down a little bit and then they can go and resell it or use it in a new build or whatever. I don't care. But, um, but yeah, that's exciting. Humble has a bundle right now with editing software. Ooh, that is really tempting. I have the Adobe Creative Suite right now, uh, one of the older versions, and it, it, it works. I like it. But I'm having trouble with Premiere specifically, where whenever I export something, it's like the settings are off, and I don't know how they're off. So I just got... Man, I'm gonna suffocate. I guess I have to go back to my ship for a second. Um... Yeah, so I just got like a free program that that works very well. Oh, 
what's happening already. Oh, don't get eaten by the sun. Let me out, let me out, let me out. If I miss this, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's- I've gotta be quick. This is gonna be fine. Everything's okay. Well, it hasn't melted. I don't know if that worked. I didn't see it melt at all. Knees are for nerds. Either I missed it. Oh, thank you, Allie. I didn't see what that was. Thank you. Um, Vegas Pro 16, not bad. You got their bundle Vegas for, uh, Pro 14 a few years ago. I'll check it out. Hmm. Knob! The raid! Thank you so much for the raid! I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, well, I'm gonna- I'm gonna meditate to the next loop, and we'll try that again. Um, also, just a heads up, uh, visor, um, no hints on the stream, um, while I'm kind of, like, figuring stuff out. So, no worries, but just FYI. Um, but, Nob, thank you so much for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. I know it'll happen from time to time. It's not a big deal. Um, how was the rest of your stream? I was- I was lurking for a while while I was getting stuff set up. And Ali, thank you for doing that shout out. Book club redeemed five squats. God damn it, they're not going to be on camera, but I'm going to do them. And it's the first time that's been redeemed. The first one I have to be grouchy about. All right, all right, hold on. One, two, three, four. All right. Yeah, we do have squats. We've got push-ups too. They're very low numbers right now because I'm very out of shape. Um, I could probably up the uh, number of squats, but push-ups, god damn it. It's a good thing I have a limit on the number of these. One, two, three. In the before times, stretch, hydrate. All right, you guys are making use of your channel points today. Um, no workout stream. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I used to be able to do like a bunch of uh, like 15 or 20 push-ups in one go. And now I can do like five max. Ugh. But thank you, cause this is like, my posture has suffered since I switched to working from home. Oh, now I'm warm. I don't need this hoodie anymore. All right. What else we got? We got a posture check. Well, a posture check just happened with the stretch. Hydrate. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this shirt. <laughs> okay. I haven't actually played this game. I stole this shirt from my partner. They left it in my room, and therefore it's mine. You were there too. You spent the last few months slowly working back up. Now you can do 10 at once and start and feel good. Nice. I can, um, 
I've been getting better with my endurance. I'm all out of breath now just from doing a couple of push-ups. All right. It's a good thing I've got a cool down on that. Um, I'm getting a little bit better where I can go jogging now. Um, I can. I have a ring fit, so I've been using that a couple of days a week. Did this not fill anything out about the interloper? Or maybe it did, but we just like went back. So let's go back go back there again. Um But yeah, I used to uh work out a lot. And was like actually like had like some shoulder built up and like I don't know, I had some muscle definition I was really proud of and then COVID happened and there it went. You're gonna go get some food? Sounds great, Nob. Thank you again for that raid. I really appreciate it. Have a great uh, rest of your night. Honestly, Allie, you really, you should. I, um, so like when I started it seemed so impossible to me. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't hang. Like, I couldn't even, like, grab onto something and just hang from it. Uh, I couldn't do any push-ups. Um, I felt really incapable of any type of physical, like, movement or dance or anything. Um, because especially back before I started doing it, I had chronic back pain. I had a lot of uh, oh, I always come into this thing like way too fast. Um, I had a lot of things that kept me from trying. Uh, and then eventually I just like took the plunge and there was a video. I'll throw it in my discord after the stream. Um, hey, Day Mink. Uh, Day Mink. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are going to the interloper. We are checking this out. Um... But there was a, I don't know if you're a fan of Felicia Day, but I really like Felicia Day and I like the content that she makes. Um, and I, I really appreciate the, um, the, the like inspiration that she's been to new creators and especially women in the game industry. I just think she's, she's awesome. But anyways, she did a trying out pole dancing class. Um, and that, like, why, why, why can't I land? Come on. Sit. Sit. Good ship. Stay. Um, her video made it look very approachable. So I, um, after watching her video, and I'll throw this in the Discord, I just like grabbed a friend and we're like, let's just go try it and we'll just have fun and goof around. And then next thing I knew I was going every week. Um, and it like being able to, so we're just, we're just waiting right now. We're just waiting to go around. Um, going to those classes and like pushing myself to do stuff I'd never done before. Oh, look at that. Very cool. All right. Uh, it actually significantly improved my chronic back pain by exercising my shoulders so that I could keep my posture better. Um, I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever uh, it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet center. And I'm starting to think that it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Uh, keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. 
I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Very cool. Um, they really put both tails in for the comment. Uh, this place is one of your favorites. Oh, cool. Yeah, ghost matter everywhere. Uh, last time when you were here and fell off the comet, you almost fell right back into the crack. <laughs> I just, like, missed it by sheer chance. Gonna make some dinner, be back in a bit. Sounds good, Pyro. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. It looked so small. Huh. I'm guessing if I go down there, I'll die. But maybe... Whoa, that's so cool. And that's where I want to go. Fuck. What's up here? Anything? God damn. Fuck it. Here we go. Please don't kill me. Nope. Alright. I was hoping that I would just, like, go through it really quick and it wouldn't get me, but... You get back pain, too, if you go too long without working out. Yeah, like, all through my adolescence and my early adulthood, um... Uh, I had extremely bad back pain, like, between my shoulder blades and my- the middle of my back. Um, and it would be, like, crippling some days where, like, I couldn't stand and I couldn't walk around. Um, and then I also, for a couple of years, I had a very active job where I was in retail and walking all the time, and that just made it so much worse. Um, but then doing, like, some actual, like, yoga and exercise, it, it really helped. Um, but aside, aside from, like, the, the physical strength, you know, that you gain from, like, doing an activity like that, what, re why, the reason why I'm so passionate about, um, about dance, but specifically aerial fitness, pole dance fitness, and these specific types of dance, um, is because it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter how strong you are, how in shape you are. You can find an expressive movement for you and just have it be a personal growth for, for yourself. It doesn't have to be for other people, but it's like, if you feel good doing something and trying something, I think that can have the biggest impact. Um, so it really became like a meditative space for me to just kind of like focus on myself. Um, and also like it was a really good distraction because it was challenging. So I was really able to like dive into it. Um, all right, well, let's go right back there. Did I put my suit on? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, whenever it comes up in conversation, I preach about it a lot. Pfizer, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. But yeah, I don't know. I just, like, I really, uh, I, I think that spaces that are oftentimes queer and expressive and 
pushing against societal norms, like especially pole dancing, right? Like um, there have there have been people who like I mentioned I do pole fitness, and they were like, really, like pole fitness? Do you work in like a strip club? You know that kind of thing. And it's like I don't I have absolutely no shame for that profession, but like can we also broaden our minds a little bit? Do we have to view that as such a bad thing? Um, slow down. We're gonna go past it again. I'm glad- I'm glad you like to hear it, Allie. Yeah, normalize different fitness exercises, normalize- normalize women feeling sexy and being proud of that. Like, for real. I think that's what people are uncomfortable about with pole dancing is just women being very comfortable and expressive with their uh, sexuality. Yeah, except CrossFit. We can <laughs> shitting on CrossFit is fine. <laughs> yeah, society would, would rather we feel bad about ourselves. Absolutely, Allie. Especially given how much money there is in making women feel bad about themselves. Oh my god, is that a snowflake? Oh my god, that's so cute. That, that's so cute. I never noticed the snowflakes before. Too sexy. Yeah, you're, you're either too sexy or not sexy enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's... Um, no right answer. Like, you're always wrong. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Here we go. Um, but yeah, also just like, uh, I think the big one that gets me is, uh, dieting. Um, the, the dieting industry. Like, there is an entire industry dedicated to making you feel bad about your weight and that it's a problem that you need to fix, and that is not true. Alright. Let's see where some of these other ones go. You never understood why, uh, why society pushes for women to be sexy and then criticizes them for when they do it. Yeah, it's like, make up your goddamn mind. So can't do that one. I think this is the one we did last time. Nope, it's not. What about this one? Nope, it's this one. Here we go. Body positivity with Ray. You know what? If, if that is a takeaway from my stream, then I am doing... I am doing good. Alright, I'm pretty sure we have to go back up here because going down did not work. So let's go back up. Also, hi, Mark. I didn't say hello. I didn't say hi because you just immediately redeemed uh, squats. And so I, I uh, had to work right away. Where does this end up? Oh my god, it's still going. Alright. I'm in hot, yeah. How did I know which ones were bad? Um, with the scout, I was able to see the dark matter, the ghost matter. Okay. 
so... Do I just have to... Alright. I have a hunch. I think I have to just go for this. And then... Just... There we go. Unless, does this just put me back where I was? What's this way? Ooh, shit! Alright, found somebody. Found something. Hey, man. I'm so sorry. What happened to you? Oh, what? This is so much cooler than I expected. I thought this place was gonna be really small. Uh, we're going down there. I don't see anything bad. We're doing it. Oh no, there's another guy. Oops. The spherical stone casting here seems to be... Oh, jeez. There we go. Um, seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is uh, muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would be almost certainly fatal. I've never encountered anything like this uh, casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Still worse, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Hi, whatever this matter inside the stone uh, casting is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? Uh, this is orders of magnitude worse than I imagined. If this stone were to rupture the lethal matter within would rapidly expand com uh, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously and the pressure is still building as this comet approaches the solar system um gotta go deal with laundry uh might be back soon uh enjoy or good luck with your laundry mark learned how to play this song on the guitar it's so good yeah i love when there's a different song that comes in uh, return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. Dang. Alright. So... Does, uh, I wonder if the supernova starts when the interloper crashes into the sun. Oh, I did not check. I didn't check. That's okay. I wanted to get back to the ship anyways to kind of, like, see what el what, uh, what else, if there's anything else I need to learn here. I have to hold this posture that y'all redeemed points for. <laughs> Dang. All right. Yeah, no, no kidding. Core. Found two of the missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. 
One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter while the others rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. So, ruptured core. So, it seems like it already happened. Still more to explore on the shuttle. Folk and Pie were your favorites. I'm sorry. I do love how much personality each of the uh, characters have, even though you never get to meet them. I'm going to put my hoodie back on because I'm cold again. Okay. Man, do I go back to the interloper now, or should we go somewhere else? That's the question. Also, I'm surprised I don't have any cats in here. I usually have a cat hanging out. The cats are doing their own thing. Probably napping. Let's go back one more time. No, don't crash into the sun. Autopilot's a dangerous game. It really is. Like, most of the time it works pretty well, at least for getting you close, but I, I'm trying not to rely on it quite so much, but it, I think it works better when you're catching up to something rather than it moving towards you. park in the back again. So... I still want to know what more there is to find regarding this shuttle specifically because we read all this hmm. I like seeing all the planets this is cool Hollow looks awesome also. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go back to my ship. There's an achievement if you line up all the traveler signals. That's cool. gonna wait here for a minute yeah it's gonna happen any second I just want to see if stuff melts I don't know if it will but I'm curious and uh, something I've learned about this game as I'm playing is that if I have a hunch I should really uh... nope 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 don't take me away don't take me away I should follow through with it and see if anything changes. Which doesn't look like it. Oh, 
Come here, ship. Ah! Didn't think I was gonna make it back. So I guess whatever's left is gonna be inside, it must be. Interesting. All right. I'll get up for a moment. I'm not gonna stream terribly long today. Hey, Mint Panda. How are you? Welcome in. Uh, but I do want to check a couple more things out. You're doing well? Glad to hear it. I kind of want to go back to the Sunless City because I want to know what I missed here. Like, I feel like I've been so thorough... And then the old settlement. Missing stuff there, too. Hanging city. Oh, I got a new... new note there. I know my traveled to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. Uh, the name of the source of this signal, the eye of the universe. Yep. Out of curiosity, what's my favorite planet so far? Um... I really like the, uh, the twins. Um, I think the twins are really cool. Uh, just, like, navigating through it I thought was really fun. I also really like Giant's Deep. That was the first place that I went when I started the game. Okay, so I think let's go, I want to go back to um, the Sunless City. I want to find what I missed there. So let's meditate to the next loop uh, so that we'll have the most time. You think yours is Brittle Hollow just because you think black holes are super cool? I like Brittle Hollow a lot. Um, I think it's a very cool planet. I What I don't like is um, navigating feels very random in the sense, sense that you're like jumping and flying a lot of the time and it's just like either your skill or chance that you'll land where you intend to. That's fair. Yeah, I... Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know. If, I, I guess it's a valid reason to have it not be my favorite, but... Um, I just liked kind of the puzzly nature of getting to the Sunless City um, and navigating through those corridors I thought was very cool. Um, the music on Giant's Deep is also really nice and relaxing. Yeah, now that I've, like, explored Giant's Deep more, I am really favoring that one. Getting to the core earlier was really cool. Uh, okay, so... Twins. Twins are your number two.
I have never gone to just like the core here before the sun, the uh, sand sets in. I kind of want to look around really, really quick. All right, maybe less exciting than I thought. Hopefully I can get out without crushing my ship. Okay, there we go, that's, that's fine. And then let's find our, oh yeah. Some of this we haven't explored yet. <clears throat> One thing I really like about this game is that I'll have an idea of what I want to do and then, like, completely abandon it. Like, I'm just remembering... You know what? Fuck it. Let's go down. My curiosity is strong. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get squished. That is 100% what's about to happen. Oh, it's happening already. This is back out. That's not what I want. Oh yeah, I've been there. Been to the guy. I mean, I haven't talked to him in a while, so... I feel like there's definitely something in there. I was just a little bit too slow. There would not be a tunnel there if there wasn't something to check out. Um, oh yeah, you were playing, um, what was it? That zombie game earlier. My ship. Can I make it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've been looking for a good multiplayer lately. Um, I have a, a couple of friends that I'll play um, tabletop, or uh, not even tabletop, but just like co op games on the weekends and looking for new games. Let's see if this guy has any new information now that I've like done a whole bunch of stuff since I last talked to him. Goodness, it's you. Hello, I take it your first launch went well. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins, mine the sand. I have questions for you. I found something. Uh, I found your note about Addle Rock's main crater. You did. I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have uh, may have been frozen solid or partially made of ice like much colder giants deep it's hard to say uh it used to be the fifth planet in our solar system you'll notice of course that there is no such planet now in this in its place is dark bramble which how do i put this screw into the space the fifth planet used to occupy that is dark bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out Eventually, the planet shattered completely, and its shards were flung across space. Some of these shards co uh, collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Adelrock, which I believe is now 
is how the biggest crater was formed. I have more questions. I found more stuff. I definitely... Well, I don't know if I've talked to him about the quantum moon. Some of the stars in the sky are going supernova. I've noticed that, like, as the texture in the background. It's, yeah, it's cool. Would love if we all had a good multi uh, multiplayer game to play. Yeah. Uh, na, na, na. Yeah, definitely talk to him about this. So I'm gonna skip through it. But I, I wanna touch on it just in case. Yep. Never been to it. I found no my writing about the sun station. Uh, is that what's in orbit around the sun then, do you think? This sun station? Quite clever of the Nomai to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct and hot inside. I can only imagine. I wonder how they were able to travel back and forth from the sun station and the hourglass twins when the slightest slip up would have uh, meant a fiery death. Yeah, we've been to the, uh, we've been to the sun station. One day you'll have a better laptop and then you too can be a PC gamer. I, one, one day, Ali. But for now, the Xbox works just fine. Chert is great. Yeah. I love my little egg boy. Egg fella. Yeah, he cute. Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. Don't mean to brag. Really quite good with this little scout. So I've been taking pictures of everything right here from my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twins' southern hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light in the sky? Yep. Been there, done that. Just saying hi. Alright. Nothing really new there that I noticed. Once again, we don't quite have time to go to the Sunless City, so let's do it again! <laughs> or maybe we'll go back to that... that cave at the bottom. Because I haven't been to that cave before. I might do the cave again. Because the cave was cool. Also, hey there, giant. How are you? Welcome back. We've had so many new uh new names in chat lately. It's been it's been really nice meeting some new people. Go back to this, uh, this is a fine spot to leave my, leave my ship. Do it. Did 
down we go. Fell right in. All right. Let's go to the right. Can't go right. Hug the right wall. Take the next right. Walk through here? Sure can. Oh, oh. it's okay. Back up here. This is cool. I assume I'm doing this right. This... Because... This is working too well to not be correct. Oh no, oh no, please don't take me. Oh no, oh jeez. Okay. Oh, this is so cool! This is so cool. Mongoose, you're stepping offline for a moment. Good luck with the stream. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It always makes me happy to see you in chat. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. See, like, this is why the twins, I think, is my favorite. I'm, like, worried about going there just yet. I want to look here really quick. Um, okay, I don't see anything else. Okay. Alright. Can't go that way. Oh, wait, shit, what? 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 Are those, like, quantum cactus? Are there quantum cactus in this game? What? 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 Ghost cactus? Alright. Sure. Why not? <laughs> you know what? I'm here for it. Wait. Everything's quantum! What? What does quantum mean? Who fucking knows? <laughs> Not me. I don't know. All I know is that if I look at it, it's there, and then if I look again, it's away. Yeah, it's a weeping angel cactus. But this is all fucking new! Alright, this is cool. This is so cool. Alright, if you come here to look for Collis... Uh, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, uh, though Callus isn't. Callus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. But what happened before Callus disappeared? We were uh, examining the different rocks. I recall Callus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. Uh, I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Collis and the rock were both gone. Ship log updated. Hell yeah. What's this do? Turn out the lights? Quantum cactus. Thank you. Thank you so much for getting the clip, Allie. 
I've been so bad at like making sure to go through my VODs and like clip the best moments. And I, I always am really happy when someone someone sees something worth clipping. Also, hi, Kusanagi. Welcome. How are you doing today? I'm losing my fucking mind at this game. So, like... What am I supposed to learn here that I haven't already learned? That is my question to myself right now. Um... Can I stand on this and activate that? That is a question. Uh, hi there, Porky. Am I saying that right? Porky? Let me know if I'm not. I'm bad at Twitch names. I'm the worst. But welcome. I will eventually learn people's names. Alright. I get the idea. I get... Yeah, we got the quantum stone here. So, I, I already knew that if I turn the lights out, it'll move somewhere else. What I'm trying to figure out is if I, like, if I stand on it and turn the lights out, can I do something different? What if I leave my flashlight on, I get it to come back, I turn out the light, I fly over, I'm standing on it, turn off my flashlight. Maybe I look around a little bit. Turn my flashlight back on. I'm still on it. Am I in a different place? I am. Am I in the cave? I mean, I guess. I feel like I have been here before. Maybe not. Maybe I haven't. How curious. This rock took me uh, with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack entrance or exit. An entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary, sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems to be the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I am not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring, this, uh, bring my mentor here uh, to see this. Uh, Mellore is here now, too. We theorize when a, a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act in an obser uh, observer explaining the need for darkness. Uh, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Friends, Collis has disappeared, uh, has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Um, you're like mind blown. Uh, then just I, this quantum cactus cave is one of your favorite parts of the game. I can see why. This is cool. This is really, really cool. Um, <laughs> mild excite. Um, phone decided to update right here, so you missed one of your favorite moments. Oh no. Well, luckily, uh, it is, it'll be in the VOD, so you can always go back and check it later, if you so choose. Hello, my rock friend. Uh, 
Is this another new place? I can't get over the quantum cactus. It's so funny. I don't know why I think it's so funny. <laughs> the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> Okay, so I learned something, like, years later from that Spongebob episode where the the writer's thought process behind that was that when sponges in the ocean reproduce, their spores are carried on, like, grains of sand and, and gravel that are moved by the ocean currents and then they can grow in new places, and that's, like, where that joke came from. I think that's hilarious, and I love it. The quantum cave is a bit stressful, but really cool quantum rule to learn for sure. Yeah, so, like... Oh, man, I'm dying. Um, I had, like, kind of learned some of that, but not... It hadn't been handed to me quite so cleanly. So now, like, it's confirmed some of my suspicions. Oh, and then that's the way out. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whew. It makes the joke even funnier now. Yeah, there's science behind it. Am I going to suffocate? I might suffocate. I guess I'll go this way and try to get back to my ship. Sacrifice yourself to the quantum cactus. I might. It'd be nice if I could just get back to my ship, though. I'd like to read... Some of this new information that we got. Oh. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I was so close! Dang. Alright, well, that was cool. That was really cool. I guess we'll go back there. Well, I'll check the log first. We'll see if there's anything left to explore. That's pretty clear. They hinted where the caves, a cave was, uh, what happened to Col when Collis disappeared, so you can do the same. And then the hidden cave, they explain the whole mechanic. Yeah, no, it's the, it, this is the best, um, uh, uh, example of teaching a player how to play the game and explore the elements or explore the environments without it being a direct tutorial. Um, it's like the whole game is just trying to trying to learn those things. It's it's very well done. Did I notice the quantum moon disappeared while I'm blinking? I didn't notice that, no. I'll definitely look for that going forward, though. The puzzle mechanics of this game are so well intertwined with the setting and story, it's genius. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely agree. Alright. Quick recap of what we just learned. It's your favorite game of all time. I can see why. It's getting up there for me. Like, at first I was like, this is cool. Yeah, I can see why people like this. Now I'm like, no, I really, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I still can't get over the fucking quantum cactus. It's the funniest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> uh... The only con is you can truly only play it once because of the mystery. Um, and I've still seen nothing. That makes me so happy. That makes me... I'm so glad to hear that, right? Because I... Oh, man, there's still shit to do at the Sunless City. All right, we're going back. We're going back to the Sunless City. Um, yeah, that makes me really happy because I really appreciate when a game has more to offer than I expect. And I definitely thought that I was kind of, like, getting close to the limits here. And the more I explore, the more I know that's not true. And that that's really cool. Um, but yeah, something like Antichamber. I love Antichamber, but like, it's really difficult for me to ever play it again because I know where everything is, I know how it works.
the more you know, the more you know that you know nothing. There's a word for that. I don't know what it is. Um, I can't remember what that word is, but it's like as you uh, get older, you realize you don't know anything. Uh, Socratic wisdom? Socratic wisdom? That could be it. Even if I can't pronounce it. The difference between this game and other mystery games is that often the mysteries end up being disappointing, but this one delivers till the end. Yeah, that's also true. I agree. Sometimes when you're playing, you just want to spend a loop in the village. I did that the other day, actually. I was like, there was, there was some stuff I wanted to check out there. Uh, and I ended up just spending some time walking around. So we're just going to go straight to the Sunless City. Ugh. There was something else I was going to say. Oh, right. Yeah, because, like, when I was in high school, right, I thought that I knew everything. I was like, I'm so smart. I know better than everyone else. And then as I got into college, I was like, oh, okay, like, I don't, there's some stuff I don't know. And now that I'm, like, approaching my 30s, I'm like, I don't know jack shit. <laughs> After beating the game, you have to cope by watching other people play for the first time, hence why you're here. Well, I hope you are enjoying the ride. Uh, when your scope on the world grows, the amount of things you don't know grows exponentially compared to that. Yes. Um, good. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying this biscuit. Uh, when you're young, you don't know how much there is out there to not know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the perspective, like your perspective changes. Uh, to the left. I remember. I remember how to get here. Yeah, like, I'm sad for this game to be over. Like, I've met so many cool people who are all fans of this game. I'm definitely gonna try to, you know, get, get a, get my full, 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 full play out of this game. Really try to explore everything I can. Are these quantum cactus? Are only those cactus quantum cactus? What is the rule of the quantum cactuses? Doubting everything. Cactus are only quantum because of the proximity of the rock. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, been up there. Hmm. Alright. So the question is, what have I not seen here? Definitely been through here. The same way trees are quantum on Brittle Hollow or Timber Hearth close to the rock. Yeah, I hadn't noticed that. Um, yeah, I hadn't noticed. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't want to go here. Stepping Stone Cave. Yeah, because that's how I get to the... There could be more here that I haven't seen yet.
Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. You didn't know enough about science to know uh, anything about this game without looking stuff up. Um, there's no sh no shame, no shame in that. I mean, I don't know anything about what this quantum shit is. <laughs> like, if that's rooted in science, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, that's right. If only I had a small piece of quantum rock with me to get these cactus to move. I gotta go this way this time. Anything else here? A lot of this would potentially go over your head. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of this game where I'm kind of just, like, trying to, to wrap my brain around it. Um, you're majoring in chem and learned about quantum stuff a bit along the way. And that's the only reason you know this stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. I kind of thought it wasn't real, to be honest. <laughs> We're going back here. Ooh, nope, nope, up, 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 up. Ooh, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, the quantum mechanics in this game do heavily reference in real life quantum theory, but obviously they adapt it to science fiction style. That's really cool. I mean, I, I would expect that from the developers of this game, just based on what I've seen. So I'm pretty sure there's more stuff to do here that I don't know just yet. Quantum mechanics aren't exhibited on a macro scale, but other than that, they do a really good job of adapting it. Gotcha. <laughs> High energy lab. Good times to be had here. This place is cool. One of my favorite rooms. Why do I think I missed something? Um, because I don't know what this does. Because it still loads these up and they work normally. Written on the walls. Be careful about hints, uh, Pork. FYI. Uh, trying to do no hints in this stream, so... Just FYI. Yeah, no spoilers. I'll work it out. Because, yeah, I've read this stuff already. Um, have I done this one? I think so.
can't say it in the no my kill Dumbledore. Darn. How could you? I had no idea. Yeah, I definitely read this. So these represent some of the different locations. All the different teleporters. Might have to change your favorite moment from the quantum cave to playing around with the cores here at school. Yeah, don't point it out yet. Um, I like to I like to stew on things. So the the reason why I I lean towards no hints in this stream, I don't normally mind hints, especially for something like Hades and some of these other games, um, uh, is because this game, um, the all of the reward from this game comes from piecing together those bits of information that it gives you. So it's this game. It's I, I think in my best interest to have no hints um, so that I can have those those moments of discovery. Um, and sometimes it'll take me some time, and I know that. I, I know that's, that sometimes I'll get stuff right away and sometimes I'll have to work at it for a little bit. Um, and, uh, and that's okay. That being said, I have not noticed the difference just yet. <laughs> There's also all these empty ones that I'm curious about that I haven't really fiddled with yet.
hard to know where the where to draw the line is. Um, as long as it gets communicated clearly, everyone can get on the same page. Yeah, I agree. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get in a huff about it. <laughs> but not if Allie wants to swing her sword. That is true. Mod decisions are final. See, now I'm thinking quantum. I'm like, something's gonna appear. Does it matter which side they're on? Guess not. Why are there empty ones here? That is my question. There must be a reason for there being empty cores. Why include them at all if they're not necessary? Let me know if I'm not saying uh, saying your name right. Uh, Kusanagi, you really like the way I play the game. Uh, sometimes we just don't really understand what we are doing until explanation the game makes or never. Yeah, I mean that'd be how that be how be sometimes. Sometimes the game has to kind of hand it to you a little bit. And did the ship get buried in sand? It's a good question. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stew on this a little bit. I'm gonna think about it. Oh well, here comes the sand, anyways. Embellis. Embellis. Gotcha. A few of those L's are eyes. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm I'm really bad with Twitch names too, so so please please forgive whenever I mispronounce somebody's name. Prefer not knowing them being spoiled. Yeah, I agree. Like I I would rather miss I think well, I don't know. It's tough. Uh part of me would rather miss something entirely. Oh yeah, there there's my ship. Um I'd rather miss something entirely and then catch it, like, later. Either much later or even potentially on a second playthrough um, than, than to have it just handed to me, you know? Um, Um, and I think that's just because, you know, the the game's reward for playing is those moments of discovery, and it's, so it's, you know, I think it's just this game specifically. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Fuel level critical. We're gonna get the music any minute here, and then we're just gonna reset anyways. Might as well run around a little. But yeah, I was really torn on it for a while. Um, because at first I was allowing hints. Um, can I 
out in here? Nope. Oh, that's just the, uh, that's just the lab. <laughs> Don't eat yellow snow. Just a real life one. It's a good one. The sun is so close. Can I... I was wondering if I could just like reach up and touch it. Oof. Ma'am, you would die! <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I was, like, really torn about it. And I've, I've definitely harped on it a lot, especially the last few minutes. But, um... I think some games it's totally fine. And, and this one in particular, I just prefer not. Hydrate. I'm running out of water. Oh, thank you for keeping me hydrated. It's always about now that, like, I don't want to go and refill my water and then my voice starts to get hoarse. <laughs> but I think on this loop, I'm probably... I'm probably gonna... Master check. Oh, man. Okay, sitting up straight. I got this. Sixty seconds remaining. Is the sun gonna explode by then? Cause I kinda wanted to watch the sun explode from here. Just, just wanted to enjoy this. Also the sand stopped. It ran out of sand. There we go. All people get the story of the game in a different rhythm. Um, the knowledge is so deep, but there's, uh, there's detail that are cool to live and understand at the first try. Yeah. Imagine the sun about to go supernova and you suffocate instead. I mean, that is about to happen. That is what happened. That is... Well, you know what? That... that's... There we go. <laughs> That is what it is. All right, this is this has been fun. Thank you, everybody who hung out today. Um, thank you for the new follows. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Knob, for the raid earlier. You guys got me working, got me doing some push-ups and some squats. I'll get back in shape sooner or later. Uh, you saw someone land on Hollow's lantern and survive only to step out of the ship and instantly suffocate because he forgot the suit? That sounds awfully similar to what I did earlier on the interloper. Almost exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I did that earlier. Cool. All right. Well, again, thank you everybody so much for hanging out. I really appreciate the discussion and I, I appreciate um, y'all being here and hanging out and chatting with me and... It was, it was a good time. It was good fun. All right. Let's definitely raid somebody. Let's see who's on. Gotta check my, check my phone. It looks like Orc is playing uh, the uh, Life is Strange 2. I've been very much enjoying his uh, playthrough of Life is Strange. I love the Life is Strange series, so much like you guys have been tuning in to Outer Wilds to watch people play it for the first time. I've been watching Orc play Life is Strange. So let's do that and we'll go say hi. Uh, 